Hello, welcome to A View for North. I'm Terry A. Abbott. Do you know that Boris Johnson thinks that Scottish devolution is Tony Blair's worst idea? Really? I always thought the Iraq War was Tony Blair's worst idea. Obviously, I was wrong. Robert Jenrick then later tried to clarify the situation, saying that Boris Johnson is perfectly in favour of Scottish devolution. It's the SNP and Nicola Sturgeon he was talking about. What, Nicola Sturgeon is Tony Blair's worst idea? Uh, does Sherry know about this? Does Nicola know about this? Or does Tony know about this? The meeting was a Zoom meeting with Northern MPs where he was going on about the devolution system. We, he was having a Zoom meeting because we all know what happened the last time he had a meeting with Northern MPs where nine of them are now in self-isolation due to Covid. So's Boris Johnson. He's also in self-isolation. Boris Johnson says he is as fit as a butcher's dog and that he's bursting with antibodies. Really? And the study's been showing that the antibodies diminish over time. And isn't it that uh, lots of people are getting secondary infections, being reinfected with Covid later on? like you know in the united states and sweden i would really start checking about your antibodies boris you may not have as many as you think also talking about antibodies we can talk about the two coronavirus vaccines which are currently vying to be released both of them have over 90 percent success rates very high for a vaccine of course, they've got to go through the final safety checks and to make sure that they are going to be they're going to be safe to use. You can't just go around injecting people, you know, come here, stick it all in. The conspiracy theorists nuts are absolutely going crazy, of course, and they're straight out of the block saying that they're going to inject microchips into your body so that Bill Gates can follow you wherever you go and Bill Gates why is it you've got something about bad about Bill Gates? What's Bill Gates done? Here's a man who's gone to say, I am going to give all my money away to charity and uh, third world causes and save millions of lives. And you'd rather follow a dickhead who called himself Jesus and believes that we're run by lizards. Oh yeah, he sounds legit. Yeah, right. Yeah, bloody idiots. If we want to go from one lot of idiots to another lot of idiots. The MAGA Million March, or 10,000 of them that there was. You know, you forgot to put the other two noughts on the end of it. Never mind. You know, can't really count, can you, when you're that stupid? Yes, these are the Donald Trump supporters. Donald Trump obviously believes in them because he drove through giving them a wave when they were in Washington. What a fucking dick. Donald Trump still thinks he won the election. Yeah, Donald Trump still thinks he won. We won the election! He shout tweeted. Look, Donald, you can put it in capitals all you like. You lost. You lost and you really lost. I mean, you didn't just slightly lose. You got well beaten. The amount in the Electoral College is exactly the same as the amount that you beat Hillary. The only difference now between that election and this one is that the winner, Joe Biden, the man who will be president in January, won the popular vote as well. I suppose you can lose the popular vote and still claim you win. I mean, you did last time. You, you might have won the Electoral College last time, but you lost the popular vote. This time you lost the popular vote and you lost the Electoral College. And the right person won. So, it's over. The problem is, this bashing your feet on the ground and making a tantrum isn't doing anybody any good. It's not doing you any good, it's not doing the country any good. I mean, it's worse for the country. It's worse for America, isn't it? You've got bloody... 
thousands upon thousands and thousands of people dying of bloody COVID-19. And you've had millions infected with COVID-19. And you're not doing anything about it. And it's wasting all this time and not getting into a transitional arrangement means that thousands of more people are going to die. Donald, it's time to concede. People just fed up to the back teeth of this constant whinging and whining and this shouting that there's fraud that there is doesn't exist. It's like just looking at the moon and shouting at it. It isn't going to make any difference. You've lost. Concede. And let's get the ball rolling on a peaceful transition and basically shut up these MAGA nutcases who you are inciting to sedition. Maybe they should do you for that. So, if you like what I say, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next A View for North. Until then, bye, -bye. stay safe.